Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Bunnings hat. Who likes this hat? Give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you do like this hat. I quite like it. Today, we're gonna to talk about being happy. Being happy is probably the most fundamental thing to anyone's success. That is my personal opinion. I think if you can be happy in any sort of situation, you have unlocked the key. Because you can see those really happy people with those dire circumstances, they still see the positive side out of any situation. On the flip side, you see people with the best skill set, the best education, the best circumstances, the best house, the best car, and they're miserable. It's all up here. A lot of people don't understand that. It's all a state of mind. It's how you perceive information coming in and it's how you project that information coming out of you into the world. I know it might sound a bit too spiritual to some people, but it's true. Have you thought about that one person or two people make you comfortable when they're in that room because they're happy, but if they're sad and miserable, they're not gonna be happy anymore. You're not gonna be happy anymore. Every single energy in the room is just getting brought down and down and down. So what is around you? what you project is what will happen. So being happy means perceiving things in a positive way and responding it in a comfortable, collected manner. A lot of people wonder, a lot of people go, but how can I be happy when we have a pandemic, when I have lost my job, when all these opportunities are gone, my girlfriend hates me, my mum hates me, all these things. To be truly happy, you need to be content by yourself, being alone, smiling, enjoying every single little thing that is in front of you. I think that is the key to being happy. Enjoying the little things and not being too caught up in life's everyday turn of events. Because there are a lot of things that are out of your control. There are a lot of things that are out of other people's control. If everyone perceives things in a negative way, it starts to stress, and then this builds up, builds up, builds up, no one's ever gonna be happy. You hear about people getting promoted with their job or within a company or whatever they're working in, and they are miserable because they have not found that right balance of maybe work-life balance, maybe relationship to work balance, any sort of balance in your life you need to find. And those people who are truly at peace, truly happy, you can see them in any scenario, any situation. They will be there, they will be smiling. Being happy is probably the single best thing you can do. If you don't like your job, change it. If you don't like your relationship, change it. If you don't like your city, move. Trust me, you will be better off in the long run Cut off those loose ends, those toxic friends, those toxic relationships, and make room for things that will help you grow and things that will truly make you happy. If you love going to the beach, if you love going to restaurants, do those things. Those things will ultimately will make you happy. Money isn't everything. It is not. It is a key part of our society. Yes, I understand. Money opens up a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities. However, Money is not everything. I have seen people with multi-million dollar companies, profits of six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars a year that they take home. People dream of that kind of money. However, those people are always thinking of, oh no, I've got the Aston Martin now. I've got to get a Bentley now. I've got to do this. Ah, uh, I don't have a real girlfriend. I need to do this. There's always going to be some point of worry in your life, no matter how rich or poor you are or whatever. There's always going to be something that bugs you, something that eats away at you, some annoying little thing. How you manage that and how you react to challenges coming in and different things around you is ultimately how you will win and how you will be a happy person. If you perceive everything in a negative way and just start reacting and start going crazy at everything, how are you ever gonna be happy? However, if you are calm and collected, and no matter what obstacle life throws at you, you can navigate that safely and think about 
infinite possibilities. Think big, think outside the box. Don't just look at things that are, have a look at things that can be. Always realize potential within other people, certain items, certain locations. Look at it in terms of potential. What is your return of investment on your happiness if you move here, if you take this job, if you start dating this person, if you start buying this house, if you start investing in these mutual funds or putting money into this hedge fund, how is that going to impact you? So go to the very, very basics. Have a look. What predominantly makes me smile and makes me really, really happy? If for example, the pandemic aside, if travel is your thing, find something that you can do in that industry. Maybe become a YouTube vlogger that travels to all different countries making videos, posts them online and generates revenue through ads or through websites, through partnerships. If that is truly your calling, for example, with travel, pursue that. If you have a calling for art, have a look at the opportunities because people will always appreciate fine art. So have a look, what can you do? I can you know, paint these pictures, I can create these, these sculptures. Whatever your interest is, whatever truly makes you happy, spend enough time on it, spend time, energy, passion, and then people will notice it. Notice it instantly. Then, as soon as you can add value to the world through your particular endeavor, there you go. You're happy. People that are buying from you are happy. It's a win-win situation. So in my opinion, you need to be happy. You need to project that positive energy and that positive energy will come back to you. If there are little parasites in your life, cut those parasites away. Trust me, it hurts at the beginning because you might say, I have a particular history with this person or this company or this city. However, like I said, have a look at the things that can be. Have a look at the potential in the person, in the business, in the location, and follow your dreams. It is a very, very cheesy thing to say, but you have to follow your dreams. You have to do things that make you happy. Can you imagine if you went not just to work, but if you are happy living that best day from Monday all the way through to Sunday, not just go, okay, Saturday, Sunday, they're my days, I'm going nuts, you know, I'm pretty happy. But then on Monday morning, everyone is miserable. That is not a good thing. So make sure that you're waking up to a Monday as happy as you can be. It's just another day. You're doing what you love. You're surrounded with the people that support you, care about you, and you care about them. And together, you are growing. So have a good hard look at yourself. Have a look. What makes you truly happy? without any sort of external influences. It's just you and that piece of paper. Start writing. What is it that makes me happy? It doesn't matter how ludicrous your dreams are or the things that you write down on the paper. Everything can be achieved. Everything that you put down, it will be achieved in one way or another. So believe in yourself, back yourself, have people that surround you that will back you as well, and then you are on a trajectory to success it is inevitable. I'm not just talking about financial success. I'm talking about the success in your mind for you to go, I'm living a very fulfilling life and I'm very, very happy to be here surrounded with my friends and family doing the things that I love. I couldn't be any happier. That is what I think about happiness. Surround yourself with positivity and you will live and breathe it. So, if you guys have any comments on how to be happy, leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video useful and you like this kind of content because I like these positive vibes, give it a thumbs up, it helps with the video. Give it a subscribe because there will be future videos coming on a variety of different topics. And of course, who would have thought? The Bunnings hat, it's gonna keep coming back. Radiate, thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.